I can't even talk, you have to tell him, I'm out of breath. We're, um, I think it's called Temescal Canyon, but it's called Top of the World. Top of the World. And you, we can see this here is past uh, Palisades, Malibu, We've got Santa Monica, Venice, we got Culver City over there, you got Century City, downtown way out there. Love it. You know? But guess what, we showed up for our workout today. We sure did. And we've already hiked. 1.5 miles. Uphill. Yes, this <laughs> one's a very sturdy hype, so come prepared. Oh yeah. 30 minutes into it. We made it to a waterfall. <laughs> I'm a little delusional, guys, so Brayden's gonna be the um, commentator today. So, uh, this is the waterfall. <laughs> That's it, that's all. <laughs> this is such a beautiful hike. You guys have to come to it. I think it's 2.7 miles. Yeah. No, there's no way, because we're already 2.4 into it. Yeah, it'll probably be like that when we finish. But Hopefully. look at nature. Can we just think about the fact that this is growing from our earth? I forget what it's called. Pumpus grass, maybe? I don't know. I think it's actually called that. Pumpus. Oh my God, guys, I cannot feel my legs. I just got back from hiking with Brandon this morning. We went to that trail. I don't even know, honestly, what it's called, but I posted and tagged it on my Instagram stories. But it ended up being like a four mile workout, which was great. Got in my calories burned for today. And I get to eat so good. I'm so excited. I just love being up early. And these past few days, I've been up around 5.30 in the morning. So I just feel my most productive early on in the morning. Brandon and I were actually just talking about this today. We like it because there's less noise and chaos. It's a little bit more quieter, super early in the morning. I feel like the air itself is just cooler. It feels like an actual fall day, especially living in LA where it's really hot in the actual daytime. Uh, but it was such a beautiful hike. Got to see the ocean. So I'll dried up waterfall, got to ground your energies, but I need to pack up some candles for you guys, drop those off at the post office, then I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna make some food, and I'm probably gonna relax the rest of today. I thought I was gonna do abs today, because I did abs yesterday, but that workout kicked my butt. Like I literally, it was all mental, you guys. It was like steady incline, but it like kept going up. Going down was a breeze almost didn't even feel like we were going anywhere. But um, yeah, so we did that, and then I ended up going to Blue Bottle Coffee, got an almond milk latte, thanks Brandon for the latte, it was so good. And we went there yesterday, and I think it's like one of my new favorite places. Um, it's very delicious, but they don't do large iced coffees, so you have to get a standard size. I feel like I could honestly drink three of them, that's the only downsize. Side is the size of the cup. But other than that, I highly recommend you guys check that out and check out the park that I went to today. Hi guys, I just got out of the shower and I wanna do this fast. Ooh, um, I noticed that I was washing my hair and my ends are just so freaking thin. I have not had a haircut at all. So what I'm gonna do is, while my hair is literally dripping wet, cut off maybe like an inch of length and I'm gonna be like not professional with this at all, but my hair just sheds so much because it is so thin. Oh my gosh, my hair has really grown though. Wow, but look how thin compared to everything else. Let me just do this in a way where I literally am just cutting off the super thin pieces. All my hair professionals watching me today, you see this? Nasty. Don't come for me. But like this little tail bit, like that just needs to go. Didn't think twice about it. I don't think it's gonna make a difference anyway in my hair. My little rat tail, those are my ends. Bro, had to go so freaking thin. So I don't feel like I cut that much. It even looks better. Okay, I'm not mad, it's probably uneven, that's fine. But at least it's not super thin. It's a little bit more evened out and I can definitely tell it's a little bit thicker. Probably some more stringy bits too. Okay. These aren't even hair scissors. These are my office shears. This side actually looks pretty good. 
There's no like random strays, you know? Do you guys cut your own hair at home? Let me know. I already just feel better about this decision, so. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Kayla Lachey. And I'm on a curly hair journey. Oh my gosh. Why do I feel lighter as a person just cutting my hair for the two seconds that it actually took? Just wanna make sure I got all of the ends. Now, I'm not really trying to go in and cut all my ends because then, because we have breakage. I'm not trying to cut all up in here now. I feel so much better. I feel like my curls even curled up on their own. Keep in mind, this is not my natural texture down here, but I definitely needed to go in and get rid of all of the stringy bits. I'm gonna make some Greek salad at home for lunch today. Trying to recreate one of my favorite meals whenever I go out. I'm just really craving fresh fruit, so that's why I have some cucumber here and some tomato. Got some olives. These I have to actually pit right now, which takes some time, but these are the olives that I'll be using from Trader Joe's. And because I'm a lazy girl in the kitchen, I do have some of this pre-made grilled lemon pepper chicken from Trader Joe's. So I've already popped this in the microwave and then I'll weigh out how much I'll be adding into my salad. And then I'm gonna use this butter lettuce mix also from Trader's and then this right here, let me tell you, let me put y'all on to something. This is the best freaking Greek salad dressing. Any type of meal, honestly, you can put this on rice, chicken, salads, love it on my ciabatta rolls. I think it's delicious. So I'm just gonna assemble everything and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Love salads like this midday because it really helps me eat my micronutrients. <laughs> a little dog walk. Gotta wash those hands. Gotta wash those hands. Y'all know you have to wash your fingernails, right? Like you should be going like this to clean them. Just so y'all know. And I ordered a drink I have never gotten before and this is a grande cold brew with almond milk cinnamon cold foam. So I asked the guy if he recommended it. He was like, honestly, I don't like the almond milk <laughs> because it doesn't Combine it almost sits at the top, which I can see what he means. It's 3:50 p.m. It's about to be dark in like two seconds, knowing the sun. But have you guys caught the harvest moon? It was beautiful. I got to see it. I was driving on the freeway last night, and it was so low, so big, so orange, so beautiful that the boomerangs and all that did not do it any justice. But anyways, I'm gonna do a little taste test of this grande iced cold brew with cinnamon almond milk cold foam. I think that's what it is. They also have another almond milk cold foam, but it is a mocha flavor and they are both dairy free. Alexa, can you turn the AC to 69 degrees, please? The AC is set to 69. Perfect, it's a little toasty in here. So cheers, I don't know if I should mix this up. Honestly, it doesn't look very creamy. like iced coffee there's really no cream like creaminess you know to it so I think next time I would probably ask for some almond milk can you do that any Starbucks baristas out there let me know what would make this even better I think it'll go really well with just some almond milk creamer anyone else have coffees this late in the day that's why I can't sleep at night sometimes Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay so I'm just gonna probably finish off this Tell me why I just had a craving for a quesadilla. So I had that leftover chicken from my salad earlier. Decided to chop it up and I threw some taco mix on it because it is lemon pepper. So I'm hoping it won't taste too odd. Had a flour tortilla and then I threw some Daya cheese on here as well. I'm just toasting this up 
on both sides until the tortilla is toasted and the cheese gets even more melted. So I got like five ounces of protein in here. And y'all already know the vibes. We on that food tracking life. <laughs> and I used a zero calorie oil because I don't have enough fat for the day. 33 grams of protein in this meal. Oh, I love it. Ooh, y'all hear that sizzle. Oh yeah. You guys hear that? That's that cheese. <laughs> this is about to hit. So hard. Perfectly cheesy. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Have some jalapenos. I love these so much. So I'm just gonna have like a bunch of them finish this thing off. I have to put you guys on to something. These little fig bars, they come in different flavors. I just had the raspberry box and I finished them. <laughs> these are so good. There's two fig bars in here and I really like these if I have a sweet tooth throughout the day. I think it's definitely great if you're on a fitness journey to grab a bar like this. I like to keep them in my car, keep them in my handbag for those moments when I get a little hungry or I feel like I need a little afternoon pick-me-up, some sugar. The ingredients in this are pretty great and I like them because they're very allergy friendly. And surprisingly enough for two little things, they keep me satisfied. So before a hike or after a hike, you know, this is something that I definitely would um, pick up. So just showing you guys, this was my snack earlier. I decided I'm gonna finally do my nails. I'm gonna give myself a little at-home manicure and then do some gel polish. So I've never done this before. I can just only go based off of, you know, how my nail guy would do it usually. But I just have some warm water here and then all of my nail stuff is in here. So I'll link below my little kit that I'll be using today. And I showed you guys this in my Amazon video. Um, it wasn't too expensive. It was like 30, less than $30, I think. And it's just been sitting in this box because I've just been too lazy to do my nails at home. But I'm like over this. I want to have like cute little nude nails going on. So yeah, this is the brand. I'll link the kit down below because it came with the most beautiful colors, like all colors I would use. And I think if I like it today, I'll go back on and then order some more just for fall. So I have a nice little variety. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So here's the light. We're not even gonna look up a tutorial. I'm literally just gonna do it. Base coat, two layers of the polish. These are all the colors that came in it, if you guys remember from my initial video. So I'll have to decide today which one I'll do. Like, am I feeling super dark or do I wanna go very light nude? Like, this one is so pretty. And they're all like mattes. And yeah, this is the set that I got because all these colors are beautiful. Like this for fall time. I think if I order like a red, a black, a white, and like a deep purple, I'll be good. Like this one. I love the neutrals and like the earth tones. So it has that in the kit. It also has a nail brush. And then we've got some cuticle treatment. So I'll use some of that. And then in here is everything else that came with this kit, which honestly, everything in here makes the kit so worth it. Like all the emery boards and files that you need to do your nails. They've got some toe separators. I might try doing gel on my toes too. I think that might be a move. This is like a top coat, so we'll definitely need that. And Literally so much stuff. Wipes to clean the nail and remove the polish. What is this? Cuticle oil. And we've also got a matte top coat. I'm not gonna use that today, but it's nice that it has it. And then we've got some more nail tools. So definitely gonna use this cuticle tool to push them back. Nail clippers and then cuticle cutters, which I actually already have a pair. 
so I'll use my own but that's a great kit you guys see all that stuff for 30 bucks so I'll be back I'm gonna concentrate and show you guys my after so this is just the before which I like the length of my nails they are pretty strong so I think the gel will look really good the thing with me is I do not like you know regular polish I'll paint my nails with it and after like a day it starts to chip so I just decided to go in and invest in a little kit that has literally everything that I need to do my own nails at home so I'm going to soak my hands and then give myself a little at home manicure I'll link below a video where I do my press-ons but I also show you how I do my manicures at home too just so you have nice fresh nail beds and I do cut my cuticles off as well. So I'm gonna have a little spa day at home, a little glow up, and I'll see you guys, I'll catch you when my nails are done. So let's hope I don't fuck it up. said this is really good so we shall see just finished up i think for my first time these turned out pretty nice you guys i really like this color and i think the thing that i did wrong was i made the layers of the polish a little too thick so the next time i know to do very thin layers so it doesn't look kind of you know bulky or whatever but for my first time it took me about 30 minutes i did one hand at a time and i think it looks really good I feel like myself and I'm ready for fall time and I really like this kit I think this light is really great it's censored so you can pop your hand in and out and then you can do 30 seconds 60 and 90 seconds so it's all touch screen as well and it doesn't really take up a lot of space Woo! sorry for blinding you guys um, and everything that came in the kit is just everything that you need i even had things that i didn't even need like all the tools and stuff so i highly recommend that you guys pick this up if you're trying to save your money or you're trying to do your nails at home some self-care and i felt very therapeutic just doing my nails and painting them and i missed doing my nails and i don't mind doing gel nails at home especially if they're gonna last me long and they're not going to chip like traditional nail polish because that's why i just kind of gave up on painting my nails dinner time so i picked up this pulled chicken from target not too long ago so i'm gonna make something with this and i need carbs so i'm gonna make some home cut fries i just gotta bake them in the oven i'm just gonna cut these in thin slices like a quarter of an inch all the same so that they bake even and i'm preheating my oven to 425 and i'll probably bake them for 25 to 30 minutes or until they're crispy so once i get them thin like these we're going to cut them in little fry shapes our potatoes are evenly cut boom this is enough for one person so one potato is all you need. 
And to make cleanup a lot easier and so these don't stick to the pan, I like to use parchment paper. So I'm gonna do an even layer and then I'll probably flip them, you know, halfway through the cooking process. I'm kind of watching my fat intake. So I know this isn't gonna taste as amazing as traditional olive oil, but for the sake of my macros, we're gonna use this zero calorie olive oil nonstick cooking spray. This is just the Target brand. Um, I highly recommend these. They do them in like coconut oil as well as like avocado oil sprays. This is just gonna help it kind of crisp up a little bit in the oven and also so it doesn't stick to the paper. I'm also gonna use black pepper, some pink salt. And then I know a lot of people probably don't cook with Old Bay, but it's the East Coast in me. Go pick this up and keep it on hand. You could use it for popcorn. It's great on potatoes, fries, chicken, seafood, of course. So I really like the taste of this on my french fries. What does it actually have? Celery salt, black pepper, paprika, and red pepper. There has to be more than that. There's no way. I don't know, whatever is in this stuff is incredible, so don't be asleep on the old day. So yeah, generous amount of that, and then I'm gonna just top it off with, and I'm gonna go in with a little garlic. Love me some garlic. Boom. And then toss this together so that all the potatoes are seasoned. I love making homemade things, but I also love doing like pre-made stuff as well. So it really helps me like eat what I need to eat in a day that isn't gonna take a lot of time, you know, in the kitchen because I'm all about doing things the lazy way and doing things with minimal ingredients and doing things quick. Like, I want to eat when I want to eat. I don't want to wait, like, two hours. No, I don't have time for all of that. So I'm gonna probably just throw these in, which I know is bad. You should definitely wait till it's preheated, but those are gonna go in, and I'll see you when they are nice and crisp. Mmm, they are perfect. So I gotta cut them thin. That oil spray too made them nice and crispy. And voila, we've got our pulled chicken barbecue roll and then our homemade Cajun style fries. They be hitting with a little bit of heat too, so they're a little spicy, but I love them. They're super seasoned. You just show me how you do your business, we can make this quick. 